Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video explaining how to create a NURB surface inside Design X. Thank you to Brent Wright for requesting this video from a previous post. So let's go ahead and talk about how to do this. If I come up to the ex Extract Surfacing tab, we have two different workflows. Auto Surface, which is the automated version of creating a NURB surface, and Create Patch Network, which is the manual way of creating this. In each case, we're going to be putting down two things. First are contour lines, which are going to follow the curvature of the part, and we just have to specify that here. And then it's going to put a patch network down inside those contoured regions. This is going to result in a solid body, which can then be exported in, into your CAD package downstream. Now this might not be the greatest way to do it, but it gets it out very, very, very quick, very efficiently. If I wanted to do more manual control, I can come up here and choose Extract Contour Curves, specify how I want the software to look at the model. It'll highlight those high curvature regions and create splines along them. Now it's done a pretty good job, but I want to do a little bit of filling or I want to do I want to add a little bit more because I want to create really nice quad regions all around the part. To do this, I'm going to come up and get my line selection tool and draw regions where I want my new splines to come in. So I'm just going to create them here. and maybe do one along the top of it. And I'm using my planes as a reference, and I'll zoom out here and just use that plane there to get the exact middle of the part. And there we have a pretty good layout. Oh, we need to add in a couple more lines down here at the bottom just so I can create good quads. So I'll use my paintbrush tool, and I'll take this all the way back to that highlighted region there. And I'll do the same on the opposite side. And once I have these regions, I'll then hit preview so I can bring in these, so I can see all the splines that I'm creating. Now once these lines are set down, they need to be adjusted. Some of them need to be clipped, some of them need to be trimmed, uh, most of them need to be straightened, um, and sometimes you need to add some. And that's really where this process, that's really where the details of this process lie, is taking care of this network after you've created them. So here you can see I need to delete out these lines because they're not really useful. Here I need to split this one and drag it up to the top. Just by right clicking, deleting out this section here, I'll grab that node and drag it up to that top node there. And then I'll combine these lines just so that they're perfect. And it's more of the same all the way around the rest of this part. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process right up until we get to the patch layout. Okay, so now that that process is done, we can come into Construct Patch Networks. When I hit OK here, it's going to it's going to create a patch network inside these contour regions. Here we can see the patches laid out in green. Each one of them has a spline and a node attached to them, and it looks like we need to do a little bit of modification. So I'm going to come up to the Shuffle Patches tool, and what I'm looking for when I select this region is symmetry on all sides. And here we can see that we have two 
on one side and four on the other. So I'm just going to add two extra nodes onto one side. Then I'm going to tell it to be a grid. And once I hit OK in the second dialog box here, it should become uniform. And then again, it's just a matter of doing this all around the part as much as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process. So now we come to the final stage of fitting surfaces to this network. If I choose the Fit Surface Patches tool, I can specify a I can specify the tolerance and accuracy of these patches, and that will result if done correctly, it will result and when done correctly, it will result in a solid body. Now I can take this solid body and live transfer it into any other CAD package that I want. I can come up to the Home tab, select the Live Transfer to SolidWorks option. It will open up SolidWorks for me port in all of the curves that were used to create this patch network, and then port in all the surfaces as well. Now once inside SolidWorks, this is still a model without a history tree, but you can now extrude into it, you can extrude out from it, or you can design around it. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you very much.